This is our second update on now we named Tropical Storm Helene. Currently has winds of 45 miles per hour and is slowly moving towards the Yucatan and Florida. Here's how it looks like on satellite. You can see that there's more defined cloud cover on this side. That is where the low pressure is that we just highlighted and starting to get well more organized. Let's go to the NHC cone. Here it is as of advisory 5. It's moving northwest at 12 miles per hour. It will hit Florida as a major hurricane on Thursday with around winds of 125 miles per hour and then will weaken to a storm on Friday. There's currently hurricane watches in place for the Panhandle and some tropical storm watches in Tampa and Orlando. Here's what the models think. It's almost a very well-defined path. You can see almost all of them agreeing. And let's go to the storm search forecast. 12 plus feet from Olacochne River to Chesco Howichka. And 5 to 8 feet it's bettered in Tampa Bay and 1 to 3 feet in the Dry Tortugas and the Florida Keys. Here's the key messages. Helene is going to intensify when it reaches the far northwestern Caribbean Sea. It's expected to rapidly intensify to a major hurricane with storm surge and hurricane force winds. Helene will bring some heavy rain, which will cause some considerable flooding. Here's the tropical storm force worst percentage chance. You can see basically where it's going to go. In that big purple area. And there's some lower chances. There's around 90-60% in Florida in Tampa. Here's what the, the, the Euro, the GFS model dates. Gets close near to Playa del Carmen, makes landfall, strengthens, strengthens, starts to move towards Florida, rapidly intensifies, then weakens after landfall. Here's the Euro model. Gets near Playa del Carmen again. Makes landfall. Stalls. Then starts to move Florida. Sarasota and Tampa gang high wind then weekends that is all we have for today make sure to like and subscribe